Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm your friend in Saxo. Just uh, spent some time working on a uh, drawing. I don't know you guys, but for me, if I can draw, then I could uh, use it as a tool to make a, a clear thinking. So that in this way, I could, uh, you know, try to think out or a solution for a problem in a very efficient way. And today, what I did is try to figure out how to filter out the genius from the crowd in a scientific way. Well, how can I do that? At the beginning, I have nothing to say, so I just wrote out. I always want to do something, but what kind of thing I want to do? So in the following, I wrote something big, something smart something useful, something people would admire for what I did, and I ate a comment, I want it so bad. So in the end, how can I achieve this goal to make something great? Well, here's one. Making a successful project might be a good way to start with. And when I think about this sentence, making a successful project, I will start to think another definition. What is success? How do I define the success? Then I wrote out. It can be either have a big impact on the society, or it can make a lot of money for me. You know, they are both something useful. For example, if you can have a positive impact on the society, then it's worth for doing it. Or if it cannot make any positive impact on the society, but it can make you rich, it can make a lot of money for you, then it's also okay. But for me, I don't need that much of money, I just need parts of them, so that it could let me have the freedom to work on those projects that I wanted to work with. And this is something that uh, people normally call financial freedom. So after I wrote out all those uh, sentences, I start to think, well, it's nothing to do with the title or with the problem that I need to solve in this thinking, which is how to figure out the genius from crowd in a scientific way. But even though those sentences I wrote here does not relate it to the problem that I want to solve, but it helps me to get into a state where my brain is actively working so that I could continue to uh, think about the solution. So here, for the sentence, it is how to filter out genius from crowd in a scientific way. If we want to filter out something from a group of materials, we need to, at the first, know what kind of stuff we want to get from that material. So that we have to have a definition for the genius first, so that we can work on with it. So how do we define the genius? This is what I wrote. The first one is, he should be a persistent person who do not easily give up because if he easily give up he won't be able to do anything hard or anything that requires time and energy and in the end he won't be successful so that's the first one and i think there are a lot of person or people who who have this feature it is good but it cannot be used as the only condition for defining a genius right so we have to go on the second tab is he should be a person who willing to try new things because because I see a lot of person who are very persistent on what they are doing, um, but they refuse to learn anything new. In here, if a person refuses anything new, then he would miss the chance to grow. He would miss the chance to get new ideas, uh, get new growing, or you know, get get new knowledge or something like that. He will miss he will miss a lot of chances in his life because he refused to try something new. And as we also know, the society society is in a rapid changing it's always in ruin or you know redefining itself there has a lot of trends over the time and if you do not follow them you will definitely get out of that okay so let's go to the next type you know for the third for the for the second type it, it also uh it's also a common feature for those people to have you know so far because uh, for example as a programmer as a as a suitable programmer we often have to learn a lot of new stuff so for the second type it's also a common feature that many people have so that we can go to the next tab the next tab is he should be a person who believes human rights this one is very important because without it the person would have no standards would have no principles he could do anything evil as long as he like you know so to be specific for this tab what it says is that you can only do things that people willing you to do if 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 the, if the things that you are going to do is 
something that、uh, the person that related to it doesn't want you to do, then you shouldn't do it. 己所不欲，勿施于人 And this is a very important one because without this one, a genius can be a bad guy, and it is a bad thing to say. Okay, so far for the three types, we can already define a genius. But in some cases, for some people, they are seeking for some perfect man or woman. In this case, there has to have a a lot more, or there has to have more features for a person to have. So what we can get? The first one is can't and positive. You know, the one should always have smile in their face, and even if they do not have smile in their face, at least they shouldn't always have a sad face because that will make people feel bad. So that this this person has to be the man who make those people around him feel comfortable to stay with him. And for this feature, I also have added a sub feature, which is this person should have a good express skill. With the right pronunciation, because only with that,、um, those people around him could understand and、uh, could feel better when they talk with him. Because this person always speak with a clear sentence, so that everyone could understand and without、uh, misunderstanding. Well, I think I have this feature only on the internet. For example, in this video or other videos, you say,、um, but I may not have it in the real life yet. I don't know why,、um, but this might be an issue or. It might not.、Um, it depends. For example, if I can live in a remote way, then this won't be a problem for me. Okay, so you know, even for this simple tap, this simple principle, there has a lot of person who doesn't have it. They couldn't be a person that people feel comfortable with. This is very sad, and this this is very sad, and I don't know why.、Um, but I guess it can get improved if they try. Okay, then、um, we're gonna get into the next one. The next one is rich and powerful. You know why I say this? Because you know there has a lot of person who could be a nice guy,、um, but there. Do not have a lot of person who be nice while also be rich and powerful. This is very you know precious for our society to have such a guy.、Um, because only for those rich people and powerful people, only for those people they could have the enough power to affect the others people or the society. And I think in general、uh, common sense, those those people would just think those rich guy or powerful guy, for example, the president is a genius. They will probably. Think about think think like this.、Uh, we and ignore all those tabs that I said before because that makes sense. Because if you do not have the the tabs before, it can be a little bit hard for you to be rich or powerful unless you are a bad guy. Okay. So anyway, this is what I should learn to be at my stage in China. You you basically couldn't be powerful unless you have the blood bond with those people in charge. Um, but you can be rich if you. Try hard, and the third one is you know there has also a lot of people who are rich or powerful, but they do not have a happy life. They they do not have a healthy life. They cannot balance their life and work. This is a tragedy for us to say. For example, as you know, the Putin is probably a tragedy. I don't know. Even he's the president of the Russia,、uh, but I do not think that he is happy anyway. So that he create a war, a evil war, because he do not happy and he gonna you know. Let the whole country stay with him to get into an unhappy state. That was sad. So in the third tab is in the end you have to balance the life and work to make you have a lovely family or lovely life. And also only you, when you feel happy, you could have a you know have more feelings for others to you know let others people happy. Only in this case, only in this condition, you could have the free will to help others. You know it's very hard for you to help others if you. If If yourself cannot feel happy, okay. So I think this is today's video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.